is horrible. Um, so then she leaves and I get doctor, uh, the head of, he's a really good doctor. He's been around for a long time. Um, I have this psychotic episode where the, where I was beating up on the cops or trying to. So they put me in Crosspoint and they put me on lithium, lamictal, Seroquel, Klonopin, and I think that's it. And I gained a ton of weight. I felt miserable all the time. Tired, worn out, just not me, listless. I gained, oh God, 70 pounds, I bet you. I was horribly miserable. That didn't help the depression. I still had suicidal attempts. So, finally, he sees me in a super manic state. I came in his office and I was off the chain. I was off the hook. I couldn't sit down. His eyes got about this big around. He was like, um, I think we need to send you over to Cross Point and let's suggest your medicine a little bit. And I was like, okay, whatever, you know, get over there. And I start seeing things on the walls. I start hearing voices. I start, oh, I was, I was just, whoo, I was really, really super manic. They had me on two antipsychotics. They had me on uh, Seroquel. Zyprexa, lithium, lamictal, colonopin. My God, I still did not sleep. I talked 90 miles an hour the entire night. My roommate said, are you okay over there? And then I started, tried to stop talking and I couldn't. I just kept on. Oh, and then I saw this little old lady on the wall, vision talking to me and I was talking back. It was crazy. Um, I was manic. Oh, 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 they still had me on Vyvanse, a very low dose of Vyvanse. Okay, so the nurse practitioner, she, um, she was like, oh my God, are you bipolar? Wow, I came in and I was just off and running. She said, girl, we're going to have to take you out this Vyvanse, um, at least until you come down out of the rafters like this. And it was only like 30 milligrams. It wasn't hardly anything. And I was like, no, no, don't do that. Oh my God, two days after they took me off the Vyvanse, I was, I could not get out of the bed. I crashed so hard. I was begging them to give me the Vyvanse back. And, and they said, no, this is where you need to be. You need to be crashed. I, but I don't want to feel like this, please, you know? Oh, you just have no idea. It's, it's just the worst feeling in the world. And, the, and you know that's where you need to be, but yet you don't want to be there. So anyway, they took me off of the stimulant for a long time and I was fat, miserable. I, I couldn't find anything that really worked well. It, it was just really difficult. Um, so, um, the last time I, I tried to kill myself, I really did it. Took a bunch of lithium and landed up on a, a ventilator and then my throat was closing up and I almost died and, and then my daughter was there. She was the only one there and I just remember looking up at her and her just bawling and I'm just crying. I, I can't speak, I'm hurting. Like, I just, I woke up with a rack and pain through my body. They were sticking that tube down in me, and I didn't know what was going on. And I said, God, I've got to figure out something. This is not, I can't keep doing this to my kids. I am going to end up dying, and it's not going to be good. And so, and I didn't even care. I didn't. I was so miserable. I thought, there's just no cure. There's no help. I'm, I'm you know, I don't, there's nothing that's going to work. Well, I talked to the doctor, and he said, we'll put you on a low dose of Adderall, which, it, 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 if, he said my depression didn't respond to anything else, nothing else, so I'm on Adderall, I'm on, um, no, I was on Tegretol, that didn't work, that made me fall, it made me spin, oh God, so now I'm on Latuda, um, the, the, the Adderall, the Klonopin, only 100 milligrams of Seroquel, and I don't even have to take that every night. It's just like if I've been up for two, three nights, and I feel the mania coming on, oh yeah, I'll take a Seroquel and I'll crash. Um, I have lost 70 pounds. I feel amazing. I do still get hypomanic. Um, the Adderall, they won't take it away from me though because it... I've not been suicidal since I've been on it. The suicide thoughts are gone. I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to take pills and overdose. Um, I, like I said, I do. I still talk a little fast sometimes. And I still will like 
you know, I'll be on it for a couple, five days and then stay off of it. And the two days I'm off of it, I'll sleep. But you know what? You got to take, you got to, I've learned over the course, I'm 54 years old. It's taken me this long and it's been a hell of a ride. And it has been a nightmare at times to find, I, I was literally to the end of my rope. I didn't think anything was going to help. Um, I literally thought I tried everything. Um, so me being a little bit hypomanic and not sleeping is a small price to pay for, from what I've been through. And this is long, but this is important. Don't, if you have these symptoms, any of these symptoms, and I'm going to read them. Um, I'm not going to be long, but you know what? You got to know what it is and you got to know what you, you got to know. I didn't, and I, it, they wouldn't diagnose me. I went 20 years undiagnosed. Now, I think that has a little bit to do with why they could not get mine under control. The more, the longer you go. Okay, so I am now diagnosed severe bipolar mania, uh, bipolar one, severe mania, uh, mixed episodes with psychotic features. <laughs> and I got my disability right away. Like right away um, after the, the, the suicide attempt with the ventilator. Um, it was like, yeah, they gave me, um, my disability and my, my doctor believes me now. He's seen me in episodes, uh, a lot now. And, uh, he thought I was exaggerating, I suppose, you know, but I really wasn't. I was trying to be as honest as I could be. And they, it's like, they have to see it themselves. So, so many people, I think they try to say they're bipolar and they're not. But bipolar is a mood disorder, okay? It affects millions of people. It's not rare. People think it's rare. It's not rare. Um, there are four different kinds. Um, people who suffer from this condition experience episodes of mania, which we've talked about, which are typically followed by a crash of terrible depression. And vice versa. It could be the other way. But mostly it's the mania and then the crash. Okay, the most common symptom associated is mood swings with bipolar. Individuals who are bipolar will experience heightened euphoria and happiness. Okay, followed by drastic depression and guilt. I mean, we're not talking about just, oh, I don't feel like I'm out of bed today. We're talking about, I want to die. I'm the worst person in the world. I don't need to live. I can't focus. I can't, oh, you just sit in the chair all day and stare. I have been there. I have been, oh, God, it's like I'm... No one understood. My mom, just get up and get your butt dressed. You'll feel better. Mom, <laughs> no, I won't. Um, it, it's not just depression. It, it, it's, it's horrible. I can't, I don't wish it on my worst enemy, actually. But anyway, there are several other hallmarks of this condition, and many of them contradict each other, which is, you know. Okay, there are two types of symptoms, manic and depressed. And each set of symptoms produce very different types of behavior, which, you know, all of that. But, and, you know, here are some bipolar symptoms, mood swings. We already know that. I'm not going to read all that, but mood swings. Oh, there was a little chihuahua like mine. It's getting dark. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to have to hurry up with this. Oh, gosh, I am long-winded, ain't I? Mood swings. Where's the rest of it? Huh, that's weird. Hmm. I, mean, I don't know how to use my computer. Oh, rapid speech. Oh, God, yeah. But I have rapid speech even when I'm not manic. So anyway, when I'm manic, you, you really can't. I, I get crazy. Racing thoughts, I have that a lot. And my thoughts will just consume. It's like they just consume. The littlest things, I overthink everything. Oh, God, it's terrible. You you just, it, it, you just, oh, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> okay, anger and frustration, hostility, you know, increased physical activity. You know, they have high levels of energy. It's, it's common in mania. Um, I could get my whole house clean in a day. Um, but you can also start too many projects and never get anything done. I've done that a lot, too. You, you, it's, um, okay, compulsive sexual behavior. During a manic episode, a patient may, su may suddenly engage in risky or, or excessive sex with little or no regard to possible consequences. That is one I did not want to talk about. I was so embarrassed of it. This can lead to a whole lot of issues, including 
STDs and unwanted pregnancies, uh, which I, we've already talked about that too. I had all that, everything. It's it, it just it's it, I'm the I'm the you know I'm the classic case, but I wasn't like that. I was a good girl, and I didn't. I was so embarrassed of that. Okay, careless use of drugs and alcohol, very common. Um, you want to feel better, so you turn to drugs and alcohol. Um, it's alcohol does increase increase anxiety. It, it's a depressant, so it doesn't make you happy. Um, it's really harmful. It makes it worse. It ex it just it, it just makes it. You either get totally angry, or you get sad and cry, or you just do something totally off. It, it's it it just just it just makes it worse. I was smacking and hitting my partner. I was running out of the bar down the road in the snow. Oh my God, trying to jump out of the car. Um, alcohol is not a good mix for bipolar people. It really isn't. Um, another thing um, that 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 I did was I I would abuse speed back in the day when I could get it. I mean, like the, the white crosses or whatever, because they made me feel good and I was depressed. It made me feel, and it heightened the mania to just new levels. But you can't, you gotta be careful because that's why they really limit me. I pick my medicine up, I pick my medicine up every week. I only get a week at a time, so I cannot take too much. Um, and that's why, because I do have a, I do have a, history of you know overdose um increase a decreased need for sleep you you know if you're manic you're not going to sleep i've been five i think maybe set five days is the longest i've been up maybe seven okay but when you get depressed then that's all you want to do is sleep and then you get sad and you get guilty you feel worthless you feel suicidal and you may have a suicidal attempts so basically that's it you fatigue you just don't you feel oh another thing is that you have aches and pains all over your body with no reason no ex no there's no reason for it. You don't know what's causing it. It's just, it's just fake. I had that. I have that too. I still have that. Like, I, I hurt. I feel like I am. Chronic pain with no known cause. Okay. Um, you, uh, bipolar people tend to be obese a lot of the times. Well, a lot of the times it's because of the medication. Sadness and hopelessness. And, and you know, when, when I was so fat, I was worsely depressed. I just, it was terrible. Um, withdrawal. Withdrawal is the worst thing you can do. I have secluded myself from, um, I gotta walk around here because this is dark. I have, I don't know how to go out and have friends anymore. I've been in this, you know, I, I help take care of my grandma and I live with my mom and my grandma and I don't have any friends. I have friends, but they're like on the computer. They live far away. I have nobody. And I'm stuck in this house, and it's like, I want to go crazy. Like, I actually want to know where I can meet people without going to a bar. Because, you know, I don't want to meet people in a bar. But when you start secluding yourself, it's, it sucks. Because you just want to seclude yourself more and more. And you wind up like me. Just chained to the house. But here's my best friend right here. We saw her. We saw her the other day. Well, it's a little mom. Yeah, where you at? How come I can't see you? Mindy. She's my chihuahua. Mm, she hates... Oh, there she is. Anyway, she's my best friend. If I didn't have her, gosh, she really helps with my depression. She's like a little person. But I am... Uh, that's why I started these vlogs. And they're right... This one is way too long, too. It's lost. But please leave comments. Leave suggestions of what you might want to hear. Um... I'm going to keep doing this even if no one watches them because it helps me. Anyways, I appreciate anyone who subscribes. Anyone who comments, comment. Tell me. I know I'm moving around too much. This is the this is the nervous mini. Um, anyway, it was a little bit better. Um, but, okay, so that's pretty much, I mean, it was hard to tell that. That, that was a very long drawn out. And I know... It just was, and there was no way around it. I could have made two videos, but you know, um, 